This is impressive. This is St. Cubby's Church in Hollyhead. St. Cubby, what a good name. He was cousin to St. David, as in St. David's in the southern end of Wales. So Cubby built himself a monastery here in Hollyhead. Well, it wasn't Hollyhead then, it was just sort of the remains of a Roman fort. You can still see the remains here. Here's the walls going all the way around. Yep, and he built himself a church here 1,500 years ago. Uh, sadly, it's shut today. Why is that? These sort of places should be open. It's the, one of the principal pilgrimage sites in Wales. Now, Cubby um, had two jobs. One was to be saintly, and the other job, which he turned down, was King of Cornwall. What? <laughs> He could have been King of Cornwall because that was his dad's job and when he died he said all right Cubby it's your turn. He says nah thanks I'll go off to Holy Island at the top end of Anglesey. It's gorgeous up there and it is. He died in November 555. Now there's a date you can remember. 555. Now the church isn't quite that old. Most of this is medieval. Dates from the time of Owen Glendour and uh, Edward I. But it's got a lot of history about it. I'd like to see inside. I guess that'll be another occasion.